remember to do this this time. That should make it so my face isn't in the way of my hand. Although it makes my hand even smaller. On the play, I think this is a fine keep. Like, unless he has no turn two play, I can condescend and find more land. I also play 24 lands, so it shouldn't be too hard to find more. And then as soon as I do, I have Compulsive Research and Steam Core Weird. Against Poison, this hand is going to lose. I, uh, in the mirror, the hand is, I mean, fine. Pre-board, your starting hand is not super relevant in the mirror, but having a cloud post is pretty relevant. Um, against White Weenie, my hand is fairly slow, but should be okay with turn 2 Condescend into Steam Core Weird. Should slow them down enough. What else is there? Against Mono Black Control, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's just a... yeah. I'm not too worried there. Should be okay versus the mana red burn decks too, since I get to stop their kiln fiend from hitting the table with condescend, most likely. That is a mountain. And a lava spike, okay. So this matchup is uh, pretty good because they sort of lose to your mana base a lot of the time. Like, Glimmerpost is so good in this matchup. Uh, the main way you lose is if they resolve a Kiln Fiend and hit you for billions. But I'm gonna go ahead and say no thank you. I might just leave the land on top since I want to tap out for research next turn. And I do want another land. Sure, why not? I have quite expensive spells to play. Shattering Pulse is no good here, by the way. This is one matchup where the main deck Shattering Pulse doesn't do a whole lot. Maybe playing Island is better. It's not. Because I get to play Glimmer Post next turn this, this way. And still Steam Core weird, I mean. What's happening? You're happening. Okay, so I just weird that. Glimmer post, win the game, sort of. Uh, I could even firebolt it and hold my weird back. Firebolt, preordain land up. I like that a bit better, I think. They tend not to have any hasty sort of guys. Do I want to tap a bunch of stuff for Wayfarer's Bauble? see why not. Yeah, he's just sort of gotten brutalized this game. I'm not seeing much hope for him here. This is fairly typical, that the deck can just play Sorcery Speed. Jeez, that was a pretty good turn for him. A little more frightened now. So do I want Research or Drifter? I research first. If I... Managed to hit a glimmer post here, I can cast Mall Drifter as well. <laughs> T 
do not have a whole lot of counter spells here. Uh, you can also, if I run into capsize here, I can start gaining two life a turn with Glimmer Post. Condescend is a counter spell. I'm evoking this. I don't think I'm going to kill him with Muldrifter beatdown, so I'd rather have the two mana to counter whatever he casts. Oh, jeez. Missing a land there is really bad. Very, very bad. Because I can't counter any of his one casting cost burn now. I think I have to go for Bauble. I can still counter three casting cost stuff or end of turn stuff. Yeah, I can counter that just fine. That's a misplay by him, I think. I have two mountains on the bottom, which makes me sort of not want to crack the Wayfarer's Bauble now. I certainly won't crack it before my draw step. Gonna Drifter again, looks like. Now would be a good time to hit me with burn. Searing blaze for one, that's fine. Okay, so I've drawn into capsize. That gives me some pretty good play. I can't cast it this turn, but I can... Well, there's no reason not to leave a bunch of mana up, and then I can start casting it next turn after I break this. Still really not getting a whole lot out of my hand here. Like, that's a pretty pathetic play. Although, probably enough to beat him at this point. Rift Bolt incoming. I think I'm just going to keep capsizing Glimmer Post. If I draw a Tron piece, I might take a turn off, but when I'm not, I don't see any reason not to keep doing this. Do I want to keep mine up? I'm going to discard Shattering Pulse. There's no real reason to have it in my hand. I could have also cast Firebolt at his face. So deep analysis seems better than the capsize play here. I actually will have enough mana up to capsize end of turn and then get back to glimmer posting. I've still only found one in 32 cards, which is very unfortunate. just lose here. Question is, do I want to wait a turn? I guess I just let myself untap and then go for a main phase, because I can draw a counter spell. Theoretically, I could have drawn a counter spell. 
but he doesn't have it. Okay, so at this point, gaining three a turn, I should be okay. Especially with him drawing a little bit of land. That'll get us there. Ideally, he would just concede here, but probably he will not, and I will have to spend the next few minutes killing him slowly. He's probably holding Searing Blaze, so I'm not going to bother casting a weird. I'm also never going to capsize his islands because of the chance that he plays Lava Dart. Not losing capsize is a big deal. Surging Flame. That's insane. Okay. Hits me for two. I'll take it. Wonder how often that works. Could do the math on it. Might be an interesting exercise. Chain lightning. Okay, I'm not gonna throw that back at you. And he does just scoop, which is nice. Did I remember to put four copies of Glimmer Post in the deck? Jeez. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so post board I get Hydro Blasts. That's the only thing that really changes. Um, he brings in Molten Rains. So the matchup probably gets better for him post board. Oops. I do have a lot of fairly dead cards against this deck. Like, my burn doesn't do a whole lot. But I tend to be fine. <laughs> because, like, the reason my cards don't do anything is his cards are 3 damage to your face. This seems pretty much fine to me. I think Lava Dart is better than Serrated Arrows. Don't see any reason to play Stone Rain or Earth Rift. I don't want to bring in more deep analysis, but I think two is fine. Probably not planning on flashing it back ever, but still happy to just pay four to draw two cards. It's a matchup where a lot of my cards are not great, but I still win a lot. This is not a great hand, but I think it's keepable. I accelerate, I can deal with Kiln Fiend early. And I have one counter spell. Um, if I did try to mulligan aggressively into like a hand with one cloud post or something, that's just an obvious target for his Molten Rain. He's gonna main phase incinerate me instead of Kiln Fiending, that's fine. Send some burn at me. <laughs> Needle drop is like secretly the best card in the deck somehow. This hand obviously has not developed. Not developed at all. He probably brings in a uh, destroy target artifact and three damage to Artifacts Controller, or whatever it's called. Smash to Smithereens, that's what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and... 
not play serrated arrows. Rolling Thunder is pretty irrelevant. Okay, deal me two. Card does not seem good. Does not seem good at all. We are going to say no to Needle Drop, though. Seriously, best card in the deck. <laughs> Seriously, I only half joking. <laughs> this is, I guess, the fair. <laughs> is drawing a bunch of cards that don't interact at all. And the second one, even better than the first. So we see that he does have Molten Rain in the deck. Uh, there's a decent chance he's holding one of those. He just doesn't have a target for it. Compulsive Research. Damn. Alright. So this will get things going a bit, hopefully. I'm gonna discard like that and do this. Digging for like hydro blasts, counter spells, glimmer posts, sort of anything. Got to draw some cards, but it didn't really change my situation at all, unfortunately. Um, having capsize counters his molten rain, that's cool. He's gonna go ahead and blow it on a mountain then. That seems terrible. I wonder if he's playing Pyroblast. I haven't seen any copies of it, and it's a bad card, but it's possible. I'm gonna play this out. I expect it to get Molten Rained. I'm gonna cast Capsize with Buyback in response. Marauders will deal me two damage. Will actually be hard to deal with. Like, not that hard. I could, for example, firebolt and arrows. Or I could firebolt prism. Uh, firebolt lava dart using prism. I'm gonna cast the prism, see what I draw, and probably go for a firebolt and serrated uh, <laughs> firebolt and lava dart cards. They're so complicated. It's not an awful card to draw. Again, I've managed to get 23 cards in without a glimmer post, which makes the match a lot harder. I would love it if you, uh... Oh, okay. Am I just dead? But we're pretty close. Yeah, we're dead. 
Jeez Louise. Okay. We're gonna try to draw more relevant cards and win this time around. See how that goes. I'm actually gonna drop one serrated arrows for deep analysis, even if I'm not planning on flashing it back. I just want to be able to get deeper into my deck. Sand seems great. Turn 2 Condescend is just so good. I feel like I eventually cut Terramorphic Expanse from my list back when I was playing this regularly because it's just extremely slow. No, I remember, I kept one in, but then I would always discard it. That's... on the one hand hardening, on the other hand terrifying. Quite happy to have a second condescend here. It's like, he has to know that that's coming, right? But what does he do anyway? Uh, I also stopped playing Terramorphic Expense because I never remember to play Condescend right with it. Which is just awkward. Obviously you break Terramorphic Expense before casting Condescend there. For all the people wandering at home. Could probably have just cast Preordain there and gone Sorcery Speed. I'm not too unhappy if Molten Rain hits a Cloud Post. <laughs> okay, so let's gain three life and scry a bit. We're looking for a Glimmer Post. I'll take card draw. Don't even hit another land. Well, prohibit is valuable. Prism just costs too much mana here. Probably Fireball doesn't do enough. This is uh, going extremely unfortunately. Yeah, that's standard. Extremely poorly right now. So I don't really have a play other than go for island here, but it lets him burn my face a lot. For two. Okay. That card is not good. Maybe it deals like 2.3 or something. It's just yeah, terrible. Holy God. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> okay, so I probably managed to lose this game. Marauders are not the scariest thing he could have cast.
prohibit does not counter fire blast. Which I feel could be in my future. Okay. I have a land. My plan is going to be do that, pass with prohibit up, hope to live a turn, and hit a glimmer post or two. Hitting Hydro Blast in my life would also be quite nice. That's obviously great for me <laughs> that he gets to do that. Okay, uh, looks like you get to see me lose round one. Uh, I think it goes without saying that this is a super good matchup. And it's just not really gone well this game. As long as he's holding two lands somehow, I'm totally fine. One land. Incinerate. Right. Okay. Hydroblast, Hydroblast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Four glimmer posts in the bottom 21 that time. This is why uh, decks which rely on four of for combos sort of suck, by the way. See if there was anything to really do differently in that match. The best part about playing Blue Red Post is that it's almost time for the next round to start by the time your game is over. Uh, totally fine keep against Unknown. Good, good. Fine. Just sort of drew nothing game one, even. Finally managed to capsize uh, half the deck in with one of each post piece. So that one was enough to get me there. This hand. I guess it's a mulligan? I don't know though, this hand seems fine. Like, the cards in the hand are not great, but the matchup is still tilted very heavily in my favor, and my equity decreases mainly from mana screw, which is increasingly likely as I Mulligan to 6 or 5. Keeping that hand, I can hit 2 Mole Drifter, 2 Deep Analysis, 2 Preordain, uh, 2 Compulsive Research, 2 Prophetic Prisms are sort of, they cycle. Uh, prohibits are fine, Condescends are really good, they like cycle and counter spell. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15. Um, also, like, obviously I'm searching for glimmer posts. Those are always fine, but not quite as desirable as one of those 15. Uh, so yeah, I should hit 
those cards a decent amount. Like, one out of every three draws should be one of those cards, and then a lot of them draw me three cards. Or effectively do something like that. Like you saw, as soon as I draw one compulsive research, I start drawing more cards, but I'm still drawing a bunch of irrelevant stuff. If I just have one glimmer post in the top 23 cards in this game, I win. Maybe I don't quite win, but I'd probably find a way to win. What about game three? That hand is really good. What did I draw? Land. Condescend is fine. Mall Drifter is fine. But at this point I just didn't hit a land for many, many cards. And that lost me the game. See, I don't know. There's not much I could do in either of the games I lost, I don't think. It's not like I can do clever things representing different stuff to change his play, etc, etc, because he's just playing burn. There's very little interaction between our two decks. Searching flames so bad. Let me. God, this video's been going for over half an hour. Let's check out what Surging Flame is actually worth damage wise. Just because I'm curious. It's not really a card that sees constructive play, so I've never thought about it. So you want to know. I guess it depends how many cards are in the deck, but let's say... Well, no, because they should be distributed. Um, randomly. That divided by that one. That's not what we want anyway. 60 choose 3. Ah, 59 choose 3. That's what we really care about. Versus 56 choose 3. So. There are 4,789 combinations which involve hitting a surging flame out of that many total. You hit at least one around 15% of the time. So it's worth like 2.3 damage. That's ignoring the situations where you hit two which just don't seem very very common like I'm rounding up and I think that gets close to covering but maybe it's like 2.32 damage or something <laughs> 